Let's take a look at tracking fundraiser or donation revenue in the Family Accounting or Expenses and Ledger module. You can uh, first set up a couple of charge descriptions that would work for you here. Go to the Configuration and System area, and under the Accounting Management section, the first place we'll look is the Chart of Accounts. I've created a revenue number here for donations and fundraisers specifically. And then I'm going to show you the charge description that I created and attach to that revenue type. So we'll go to the charge credit descriptions here and we'll go to the other charges and I've created a charge description down here called donations and another one called fundraiser and they both point to that general ledger number for the revenue. So depending on what type of revenue I'm posting, fundraiser or donations, I can use either of those descriptions. So then you have two ways that you can post in ProCare's Family Data and Accounting module. If you have the desire to track donations that are made by individual families, then just simply go to the family, for example, the Combs account here. You would go to the ledger, post your donation amount, whatever that would be, description here called donations, and it could be for a, a bake sale, something like that and that would be twenty dollars and then I would probably post a payment by check or payment by cash whatever they've done on the next line and that would be for the fundraiser or the donation so we'll post those and now if we go back so now I've got a charge of twenty and a payment of twenty on the individual family ledger if on the other hand you have an at-large or community type fundraiser where you may not have people who are giving you money set up in ProCare as families. You could create a catch-all family here called Donation and just make the primary payer fundraisers and donations. If I go to their name, you'll see that uh, Donations is the last name. The fundraisers on the ampersand is the first name and that's how to set that up as a primary payer record. And then just post the donations total when you get the total amount in whatever you took in total for the whole bake sale for that day and then probably break out how much of it was checks if you took in uh, 150 in checks then you would probably post it like that and the remainder would be payment by uh, cash let's say there we go and there's a hundred for cash and so that accounts for all of the payments that you took in for the bake sale on the 19th we'll post that and then when you go to your deposit report you'll have those payments sitting out there waiting to be deposited when I click the view current button we'll see those three uh, payments sitting here two checks and there you go and that's just exactly how we posted them. So if you post to a generic account, you can tell that those amounts were for fundraisers. And then you would close these out just like you would any deposit report. Pick your checking account and close that report. Now let's take a look and see how those donation charges show up on reports. We'll go to the reports and standard reports. And I've selected a report here, the specific charge credit summary. And the date range I've selected is this week. We'll go ahead and run that report. And we'll notice that we've got our donations right here. I can double click to get the detail on that. And I'll see the Combs account for $20. And then our total donations uh, entry there that we made on the donations account for 250 So you can see all of your donations that way on the specific charge credit summary report. You can also track donations and fundraisers through the Expenses and Ledger module. However, if you enter these as a journal entry in Expenses and Ledger, they will not be included on your deposit reports in the Family Data and Accounting module. So let's move over to Expenses and Ledger. I'll go to my general journal here, and I've got my journal picked, Donations and Grants, and this will be Bake Sale. And we're going to put in our bank account that's going to be our first national checking. That went up by $250. And we select our donations account right there. And that went up by $250 as well. And now we have a balanced entry with a debit and credit that equal each other. 
the bank account went up by 250 and the donations and fundraisers revenue went up by 250 and then post this that is a reconcilable transaction in the bank reconciliation part of expenses and ledger but will not show up on the deposit report in family data and accounting because it was entered in the expenses and ledger module and those are ways you can track donations and fundraisers in Procare.